Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to show you how to reset all the option buttons on different shades in one click. As we know, there are two types of option buttons available in Excel. One under the form controls and the other under the active X controls. Let's start with the form controls. Go to Visual Basic. I'm going to insert a module. As usual, always start by giving a name. To reset all option buttons on different shades, we need two dummies. Let's create for loop together with the dummies. Firstly, we have WS to represent worksheet in this workbook dot worksheets. Then create another for loop to run through each option button in the selected worksheet. If you are using form controls, it can be specific. So let's specify the name option buttons. Then we can set the dummy option button by using the dot value property and set equal to zero. Finish the first option button, we should press it to the next. Once we have run through all the option buttons on the same shape, we should press it to the next shape. And the coding part is now done. Let's back to spreadsheet. Simply select some option buttons on different shapes. Then back to Visual Basic. Without using command button, we can run this code directly. Back to spreadsheet and we should be able to see that all option buttons are now unselected. Next, let's try for the option buttons under ActiveX controls. Back to Visual Basic, let's reuse the existing code, make some amendments. If you are using ActiveX controls, we are not able to be specific, but we should tell the types of the object, that is OLE objects. Instead of having the option button dot value, we should add dot object before dot value. And this time we should set equal to false. On the other hand, if you have more than one type of OLE objects, for example, command buttons, check boxes, etc. on this shape, then we should first create condition before setting the value to be false. We can use the if statement, make use of the left function, firstly, Record the name of this option button and I'm going to take only the first three letters. And the first three letters of this option button must be equal to odd. Note that this is case sensitive, so we should type correctly. Start with if, of course we have to end with if. And the coding part is now done. Let's run this code by using command button for this time. Back to the spreadsheet, insert a command button under ActiveX controls. Click and insert at the desired place. Click on properties, change the caption if needed. For example, I'm going to change to reset. Besides, if you don't want to have just a width but also an icon, we can go to the Insert tab. In the Illustrations group, click on Icons, type and search for the desired icon, select and insert. Change the graphics field if needed and it is very important to resize the icon first. Press Ctrl C to copy, select the button and look for Picture, select None and paste it. Next is to change the position of this icon. Look for picture position, click on the drop down, select the desired position. For example, I want the icon to be placed on the left center. Close the window, delete this icon, back to developer tab, double click on the command button, call the module. If you can't remember the name, let's back to the module, copy the name and back to the command button, paste it here. Back to spreadsheet of the design mode and we can now reset all the option buttons by using the command button as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.